Hi friends, in today's video I'm going to demonstrate a technique that is definitely an oldie but a goodie. It's called the rock and roll technique and uh, I was talking to some of my stamping friends and some of them had completely forgotten about this technique and some of them who have been around for years had no idea about this technique. So this is an super easy technique that you're going to love. The stamp sets I'm holding are Fable Friends and Beautiful Friendship because I want to combine this technique with these sets to create a pretty little Easter card. So what I have here is a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This measures four by five and a quarter. These pieces are uh, scrap bits and then my card base is Balmy Blue. So, so I'm going to use this stamp to start with. You need a light color and a dark color for this technique. So I have Flirty Flamingo and Poppy Parade. So I'm inking first in my Flirty Flamingo and then I'm going to move this so you can see what I'm doing. I am just going to roll the edges, just the edges of the stamp. So when you stamp down, let's do it on my scrap piece. Do you see how you get the two tones? So pretty. Now, before I stamp again, I'm going to want to clean this stamp. So I have my Stampin' uh, Scrub here and my Stampin' Mist. So I'm just going to mist that on one half and clean it and dry it. And now it's ready to stamp again. And that's because you don't want to pull the dark ink into the light ink pad. So again, I'm just rolling it and stamping it. Gorgeous. I'm going to do it a third time. And roll. And that's all there is to it, to the rock and roll technique. So I'm going to set this aside. And set those aside. And I'm going to bring in the rabbit from Fable Friends. And I've got him on a block and I'm going to pull in my stays on. Ink up my rabbit and stamp them right in the center like so and now I have a mask so last time I used this set I needed a mask now I've got it handy for this card I just keep my masks right inside my stamp set so now I'm going to use this stamp here I have it on my block and I'm going into my daffodil delight and roll it into the mango medley and I'm just going to stamp right on top of my rabbit. Now I'm taking my big rose and I'm bringing in my two original colors, the Flirty Flamingo and Poppy Parade. I'm going to do the same thing and roll right around the edges. I want to make it look like the little rabbit is tucked inside a little flower bouquet. Okay, still not going to move that mask. Now keeping that mask on, I'm just going to stamp into my balmy blue and um, I'm not worrying about where it's overlapped a little bit because I'm going to put some leaves and different things there. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of tuck this here and I'm using the balmy blue because I'm going to want to tie in my cardstock. Well, I'll do a second one right there. Okay. I'm going to move my mask. Got my little bunny there. Now I'm pulling in my crumb cake and I'm just going to color my little rabbit. And you know me, I love my aqua painter, so that's what I'm using. So I'm picking up a little bit of that ink, and I have my paper towel here because too much water is coming out of my aqua painter. There we go. Some of this bunny is going to be hidden, anyways, because I'm going to put some flowers around them. Adding another layer of color. Now 
Now I'm taking some Blushing Bride and then add a little bit to his cheeks and to his nose and his ears. And I'm going to use Highland Heather to color in the little jacket. I'm going to pick a little bit up and put it on my block. I'm going to stamp my Easter greetings down next. And now I'm going to fussy cut these flowers. I'm pulling my granny apple green in. I'm just going to stamp some leaves right up in here, like so. And Again, using granny apple green, but this time in the cardstock, I'm taking my leaf punch and I'm going to punch out some leaves. I'll try that to start with. I'm just going to bend those leaves a little bit, give them a little bit of texture. So before I start assembling, I want to add a little bit of ribbon. So I'm going to use a little bit of my white crinkled seam ribbon. Okay, let me just wrap that around. Secure it in the back. A little bit on top and then I'm gonna put this onto my card base. Now it's time to start assembling. Okay. So I'm going to put a flower, I want to hide that little bit there, so I'm going to put that there like so. so, I'm going to put this flower here like that, put some snail behind here. I'm going to put another one right here so I can see his little foot there. Now I'm taking a glue dot and I'm going to put that here for my, my little ribbon bow that I've made. So to finish the card, I'm just going to put some pearls on the flowers. Now I'm just taking my Mango Medley marker and I'm going to color in the little buttons. There's my finished card with the rock and roll technique and of course a little masking with the bunny, but this technique is so much fun.
So take a look through your stamp sets. You're going to want to use the solid bold images as opposed to the outline images. And then just play around and have fun with this technique. Imagine leaves done in autumn colors and snowflakes done in blues. I hope you enjoyed this technique and this cute little card that I just did on the fly. It was just a little idea I had in my head, but I think it turned out super cute and I know whoever gets it in the mail is going to really be thrilled with this little Easter card. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and there's a couple more videos here you might be interested in. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I appreciate you. Happy stamping!